Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show really basic Internet Explorer 8 customization. Now, I know a lot of you out there use Firefox or maybe Safari, or if you're on Linux, maybe Conqueror, uh, spelled with a K, of course, for the KDE environment. But the predominant browser out there is still Internet Explorer, and it surprises me how many people do not know how to do basic customization on the browser, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, it usually looks like this. Uh, this is Internet Explorer 8, and this is the standard set of buttons that's on it. Actually, the default provider is uh, Bing. Let me just change that so so it would show Bing, and I go back a page, and it shows Bing. So from here, here's what we're going to do. Um, first of all, the menu bar. I believe this has been since Internet Explorer 7, is hidden on purpose. You can bring it back simply by pressing your Alt key, and then you'll see that familiar menu bar. If you want it to stay there permanently, View Toolbars, Menu Bar. And if I click View Toolbars, Menu Bar again, you'll notice that it is checked, and that means it will stay there, which is good. Uh, the next thing that you can do is now some people like the favorites bar. I personally do not like it because once I have the menu bar back, I can click favorites and just get to them from here. So what I'll do is click view toolbars and then uh, favorites, excuse me, favorites bar, and it gets rid of it and then it reclaims some space back, which is good. Uh, the next thing I will do is actually get rid of a whole bunch of these icons here because it's really stuff that I don't need. So what I do is I right click in an empty area of the uh, bar here and left click customize and then left click add or remove commands. The only icon I need here is home and nothing else. Feeds I don't need, read mail I don't need, print I don't need. If you need any of these go ahead and leave them. I just don't. Page safety and tools I don't need because I can get to them from the menu bar now. Help now blog this. That's for Windows Live Writer. ICQ is just a uh, chat program. So the only one I have left is home and that's fine. I click close and it snaps to the right side. So I have the home icon here. If I want the icons larger I just right click in the blank area again, customize and use large icons. So now the icon is larger. I don't know how much larger. I'd say maybe about 25 or 30 percent. That's not much but it's good. Uh, but I don't use the large icons because I like to keep as much space as possible. If you're wondering how do you get the home icon from the excuse me from the right to the left, you actually can do this. Uh, if I right click and you'll notice that I lock the toolbars is checked. If I unlock it, you'll notice this little perforation mark here. I can actually left click and hold and drag that up. Now it expands it a little bit because it moves the bar from here to up one level, but now the home button is on the left, uh, and that's how to do it. If I want to put it back down, I can just drag it and bring it back down again, and then it snaps back to the right. Uh, if I want it to the left of the, I wasn't able to do this, but I can't put it to the left of the uh, favorites button here. That's okay, though. Not a big deal, really. If you want to know a sh keyboard shortcut to get to your home page, just uh, Alt-M will do it. It says it right as you hover over it. Home is Alt and M. So anyway, when I'm done, I lock the toolbars again just to make sure I don't move things by mistake. Uh, you'll notice that my refresh and stop button is actually on the right side. This is another option from here. If I do customize, show stop and refresh buttons before the address bar. By default, it looks like this. You have your refresh and stop on the right side. I don't know why Microsoft did this because it's every browser I've ever used has always had refresh and stop on the left. They put it on the right. I have no idea why, so I make sure to put that on the left. Another thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually resize this search bar. If you take your mouse and you put it between the address bar and the search bar, you can click and see this. You can actually drag that. I make mine just a little bit bigger than usual because sometimes I put in long search terms in here. 
and then I'll search. Uh, you'll notice I also have Google in here. If you want to add in Google, just click the down arrow on the right side, and then you can do, uh, I think, let me try manage search providers first. Nope, that's just if you already have it installed. We would have to actually do uh, find more providers. And then you go to the add-ons gallery, and then I can just search for Google here. And uh, there's a bunch of Google stuff here, Google Define, Google News, Google Search, excuse me, Search Suggestions. Uh, this is probably the one you'd want to pick, uh, whatever you want. And then you put it in there, and then you'll have Google. And then if I search for stuff, like PC Mac, PC Mac will then show up. Uh, there's really not much else to this. I mean, this is just basic customization, nothing really crazy. Uh, you, yeah, you can resize some bars, you can move around some icons. Uh, it kind of makes me upset that I cannot move the home icon to the left, especially right here. I would really like it if it was right here, but I can't for whatever reason, just not by design. My favorites is now in a more familiar area. Everything I need to get to that was over here is under tools now. So if I want to go anywhere I want, whether it was the uh, in-private filtering or the pop-up blocker settings, smart screen filters, managing the add-ons, whatever I want to do. Uh, the view, if I want to take away toolbars or add them, I can do it. I can also do explorer bars if I want to. So more or less, that is it. Uh, it's not as customizable as, say, Firefox is, obviously, but... At least you can do something with it. If this is your primary browser, maybe you learned a little bit by watching this video. Take it easy.